Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys 10 hidden features on your Samsung Galaxy S10 running on One UI. And of course, these tips can also apply to any smartphone, any Galaxy smartphone that is running the One UI software. But in this video, we're using a Galaxy S10 for demonstration. So let's dive in. Now, the very first tip has to do with task switcher. So normally when you wanna switch your task, you tap on this recents button. It brings up the multitasking uh, pane over here and you can just pick any app that you want. Now there's another quick way and a slightly different way to get it done as well. So all you do is you put your hand on the home button right over here and don't press and hold. What you wanna do is you wanna press and swipe to the right right away. So let me show you how that works. So I'm gonna press and swipe to the left and now I have a different way to access my notifications. And as you can see, as I swipe left and right, uh, it's giving me a preview of all the windows that I can actually choose. And this preview is in fact larger than the previews that I get right over here, okay? So these guys are a little bit smaller, but when I do this over here, they are much bigger and I can swipe over like this. When I'm ready to pick one of these guys, I just go like that, boom, it comes right up. So that's fantastic. Now I do want to let you know, if you are using good luck, this is not gonna work properly. So if you, if you do want this to work, and if you're using good luck at the same time, what you would have to do is you would have to go to your good luck application right over here. Uh, let me just search that real quick. Uh, I just wanna make sure I cover all the bases. From here you go to task changer and make sure the task changer is not in use. Now if you don't have good luck, you can grab it and you can do other things. So let me show you what you can do. Uh, you can enable this and now you can pick different recents uh, layout. So I can do the slim list option, which is this one right over here. Uh, this is one of my favorites. Uh, or you can do things like this, the carousal right here. So I can go like that. So now I have a different view. Or let me go back in there. I can tap on this one. I can do the grid layout. So now I have a grid system, as you can see. I can go back here. I can pick the uh, list layout, which is just like this. It's, it's just like that list, but that's the slim version. This is actually giving you a little bit of a preview of the windows. And then if I tap on this again and go to stack view, I can get the regular stack view, okay? So you do have all these options. If you don't know what good luck is, I'm gonna tell you where to get it right now. So all you do is you go to the Galaxy store, uh, you go into finder search, type in Galaxy, and it's gonna bring up the Galaxy store, you tap on it. And then from here, you simply uh, search for good luck, right over here. Good luck, boom, you install that. Once you install that, that's what you get. And from here, you have when you wanna uh, go to task changer to enable these options. Now I'm showing this to you guys, just in case you wondered what this was, if you did not know. But again, if you know what this is, disable this to use this awesome option right here that I show you uh, in the beginning of the video, all right? So let's move on to the next tactic. Now, one more cool thing I'm gonna show you guys is the pop-up notification window. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna send myself a text message from my other smartphone. I'm gonna send it right now. And you're gonna see there's gonna be a pop-up that just pops right on the screen. And it's right over here, okay? So this is a text message pop-up notification. And when you tap on it, it's gonna expand as a quick uh, pop-up. From here, I can make a response and then click this one, and then I can move on by Xing this up, okay? So again, if I send myself a message, I'm gonna show it to you one more time, boom. So you can enable this for a lot of different applications. What you wanna do is you wanna go to the settings, you wanna go to advanced features, and go to smart pop-up view, you tap on it, and enable it for the options, uh, for the apps that you want to see that. Now if I don't do this, and if I send myself a message, nothing happens, I just get a notification uh, on the top over here, and a quick sound, but if I have this enabled and I send myself a message again, you'll see how different it is, and that's what you get. And you can put this anywhere uh, you want for a couple of seconds. When you're ready, boom, you go right inside, boom, 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 respond, X, and move on. And again, remember, you can do this for any application that you want, including Twitter, Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp, or whatever you want. So the next hidden trick has to do with your slow motion videos. All right, so let me go to my gallery. I do have a slow motion video right here. I'm gonna play it right now. So I'm gonna play this video. And as you can see, the car's coming up fast and then it slows down, okay? And you can see that little rectangle within which the slow motion actually occurs. If I'm outside, it's regular size. If it goes into the rectangle, uh, it actually slows down. Now this happens automatically every time you in fact take a slow motion video. Now what you can do here is something pretty cool that a lot of people are not aware of. So I'm playing the video 
I'm going to pause it right now. I'm going to tap inside the rectangle. And that brings me uh, with a couple options. I'm not going to talk about the split option that just splits the video. But over here, what you can do is you can change the speed of the slow motion. So right now it says times one over four. So if I tap it one more time, it's going to be times one over eight. So if I play this video one more time now, it's going to be even slower motion as you can see. So the car com is coming at full speed and now it's at the slowest possible slow motion speed you can get on this format. Now if you tap it again, I can go to uh, times one over two. So that's just 50% slower. So let's look at that. So the car is coming at full speed, boom. Now that's slow motion. That is not real slow motion, but it's been actually uh, become faster. So if I tap this again, I can go to times one over four, times one over eight, and times one over eight is the slowest motion video you can get. As you can see, the car has come to a crawl, okay? So that's another thing you wanna play with as you take your slow motion videos and as you edit them. Again, all you do is you play the video, you tap over here, and you tap on the rectangle inside that slow motion video. By the way, if you tap on split, it will split the video into two different slow motions, okay? So you can uh, mix and match with all these videos, and then you can change the individual speeds of each one of these splits, all right? And then click save when you're done, and the new video is in fact saved. Now let's move on to the next tag. Now the next thing I want to talk about has to do with the actual uh, control panel. Now this is an option I've been showing you guys since the Samsung Galaxy S6, S6 Edge. So basically over here you have quick toggles and when you press and hold on each one of these quick toggles, it takes you into a detailed menu of, your, uh, of that particular toggle. Now that's one thing you can do. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can actually tap on the text portion of the quick toggle to get a quick menu right in your control uh, center, as you can see. Now this is very useful when you use it with things like the flashlight, uh, because now I open the flashlight, I turn it off. Now let's say I do have it turned on. If I click on the text, it gives me a sub menu from where I can change the intensity of the actual uh, flashlight, and I can even turn it off from here. I can click done and go back to the control center. Now this is amazing because you can do this with all these options. So I can tap on the night mode here, it gives me an expansion, okay? Now if I swipe over, let's just pick edge lighting, tap on that one, gives me an expansion. So that's absolutely fantastic. Remember, when you press and hold, it'll take you into the full detail settings, uh, but when you just tap on the actual text, it's gonna expand it inside the control panel. You make your modification, you can click done, or you can also click on details, which will also take you into the full uh, settings menu for that particular option, as you can see, okay? So that's great. Let's move on to the next tactic. Now, one more thing we have over here is when I pull this thing down, uh, I see a brightness slider on the top. Now, some people are not gonna see that, and I'll tell you why, because this can be disabled. So what you wanna do is you wanna tap on this arrow here, okay? And you want to uh, disable show control on top, and by default, this is what it looks like. You're not gonna see that control on the top. So if you wanna enable that brightness slider control on the top, which is very useful, all you do is you swipe down, then you tap on that arrow button, and then you say show control on top, then you click done, and now every time you pull this down, that control is gonna show up right on the, on the top over there, and that's very useful to have. Next really neat feature has to do with your camera. So when you launch your camera, Sometimes it is not very convenient to just have this button over here to take a photo because of the way you may be actually handling the phone. So, so what you want to do is you just want to slide this over anywhere on the screen. So now you have a shutter button anywhere on the screen. You can take a photo, no problem. So you can, if you're having, if you have your phone in some kind of landscape orientation and your thumb is coming over here, you can have this shutter button right here and take a photo just like that. Uh, depending on how you're folding, uh, holding your phone, okay? And when you're done with this, you can just put it right back where it belongs. And one more thing you wanna make sure is you see at the bottom here, you can swipe uh, around uh, between all these different modes over here. So make sure that you enable or disable the modes that you need and don't need. Uh, you don't have to have all this mess at the bottom here if you're not using the panorama option. The last time I used this option was like five years ago. So this is something I personally do not need. And then the professional mode, I'm sure a lot of people don't use that unless you're a photographer, you have some information about how this thing works. So what you can do is you can go to the settings, 
And then what you want to do is you want to go down over to camera modes, okay? And then click on edit modes and you want to make sure that you un um, uh, uncheck the ones you do not want to use so that area is not fully cluttered. I do not want to use hyperlapse any one of these. So now when I go back out to my camera, as you can see, I have live focus, photo, video, uh, super slow motion, and it's nice and compact, all right? So make sure you go down there uh, to the camera modes and that thing is in fact enabled. And of course, over here, you can enable this as well. So this is keep using last mode. So for example, let me show you what's going on here. So let's say that I use video all the time. When I exit the camera and I go back into the camera, it's gonna, it resets back to many times. If I actually kill the camera application and go back to camera, it's gonna reset to photo, okay? So what if I want to launch the camera and I want this to be back on video? because I use video all the time. So all you have to do is tap on settings, okay, all right, and go down to the camera modes and just use, uh, uh, choose this, keep using last mode. So even if I kill the camera now, and if I go back into my camera, it's gonna go to the video mode that was the last used option that I was using. If I was at photo, and if I uh, live focus, let's just say an example, kill the camera, go back, it's gonna go right back to live focus. So that's a very, useful option to have. Now also in the settings of the camera, if you scroll all the way down, uh, you're gonna see something over here that says location tags. Now if you enable this, location data gets attached to your photos. So when you send that photo to somebody else, they can extract exactly where you took that photo. Now this could be a privacy concern and also it could be very useful. Now let me show you what's happening over here. So here's a location tag. It's enabled right now. So if I go into my gallery, all I have to do is swipe up and I get all kinds of information about that. I get the exact location data about that photo right over here. It shows the exact coordinates right on the actual map. By the way, that's another hidden feature. You can swipe up uh, to get details about your photo. If you have any tags for the photo, categories for the photo, and all the information about that photo, how it was taken, with what lens, at what aperture, with or without flash, the ISO, and all that stuff. Uh, but the biggest thing here is the location information. So if, you, if this is something that you wanna use, that's great. Uh, but as a security concern, you should disable this if you're sending your photos to everybody. Anybody can extract the location data and know exactly where you took that photo at. All right, so that's the camera hidden features. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys learn a few new and neat tricks uh, for your Samsung Galaxy S10 or any other smartphone running One UI. Guys, for now, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.